Missy Bell here with another Ranch of Rivershine video, and uh, I have uh, some news in case you haven't been following the Discord that there are more features being added to the next update, which should be in about a week or less, I would say, since the beta is going pretty well. So uh, let's go explore, shall we? Alrighty. Okay, so one of the first things that I will show you is when you go into here and you go under quest, now you have this lovely thing. Now this, what this is, this is the most requested, one of the most requested features. It is a statue tracker. So now you will know how far, how many more quest, how many more races you have to do in order to get the benefits of the statue in every statue. So we've got the Riverside Town, the Lupine Meadow, the Pine Forest, and the Crystal Lake. She has included the Rocky Mountain and the Azure Coast, which will not be in this next update. They will be in like two or three updates, maybe four updates from now. So the last two, just ignore for right now, but the first four, yes. And um, when you go into each zone now, there is, there is actually the quest, I think I talked about it last time, there is a quest with uh, Shindai, the, the saddlery guy. Uh, each zone has three chests that are hidden and you have to go find them. And each one has a piece of tack in it. Um, so there will be a little tracker in this section also as to whether you found you know one of three, two of three, or three of three. So that is a really good quality of update. Life, quality of life update, that's what it is. Quality of life update. Um, for the game and it's um, one that has really been requested. I know I've requested it Everybody else has requested it because you never know you was like, okay I have no idea how many races I've done on this horse or on this race or in this section To know when the statue is ready. So that is an excellent feature Very very excellent feature one of the other updates um is to the wild horses. Um, we know, let me go take care of the horses while I'm talking. Um, so we know that Lupine Meadow always had beginner stats. Well, no longer. Lupine Meadow and every single other meadow in Pine Forest, Crystal Lake, will have um, the opportunity randomized if you've bought the upgraded wild horse pens to have anywhere from beginner to expert stats. Now, they won't, the horses will not have all expert stats. They may have, let's say, two advanced stats, one expert stat, and a beginner stat. <laughs> Go figure. It's all going to be randomized. Some, sometimes you'll get a herd in and the entire herd has nothing but beginner stats. Another time you might get in and all the herd has like all advanced stats but one. So they'll have three advanced stats and one um, beginner stat or one intermediate stat. So it's going to be completely random. You never know what you're going to, what you're going to get. Now the pens do cost a lot before you go running out and in excitement and glee to go purchase them. Um, there are the lower pens, the beginner and intermediate are of course going to be the cheapest. So the beginner pens, I don't have a, a price on at the moment, but I know that they're they're like 20k or under. The intermediate forest pen for Pine Forest is going to be 31,500. That's just to get intermediate stats. Um, the intermediate lake pen will be 42,750 dollars. The advanced Lupine Meadow pen will be 56,250 dollars. Now, the expert, I went to get the expert uh, upgrade for Pine Forest. It was 255K. So these are the higher X, the expert ones are not going to be cheap. So do not expect to be running out and buying them anytime soon. Um, if you like the races, I recommend do all the races you can and get as much money as you can. If you don't like the races, I recommend breeding as often as you can and selling the foals, um, trying to get the higher stats on the foals um, by breeding their, raising their parent stats, not by raising, raising the, the foal stats. Um, 
that would probably be the fastest and easiest way. Or if you've got the wild, oops, if you've got the wild horses open, um, every wild horse you adopt, raise its stats up a little bit and sell it. You'll get at least four or five thousand um, dollars. That would probably be the quickest way to do it. And every time it comes up, if you have at least a four stable or better, then adopt a wild horse, raise its stats up, and then immediately turn around and sell it. You will get a lot of um, fair amount of money for that. Uh, so these are not going to be cheap, but they will be profitable. I, on my other save, I had um, a wild horse that I adopted, three advanced, well, it said when I adopted the horse, three advanced stats and one beginner stat, which I thought was absolutely hilarious. But when I got home and I looked at the stats, one stat was 96%. That is not an advanced stat. That is an expert stat. So I let Eloise know that that was happening because I had two horses on two different saves that had that. So I think that there was a mix because I had the expert thing uh, pen set up on that particular one. So I think that was a just a bug. So we're going to talk to Shindai about his. Ah, I knew you want to learn more about that letter I sent you. You, you could have just come talk to me. I've hidden some of my favorite pieces of tack in chests around the town and on the trails. I thought that whoever is adventure enough, adventurous enough to embark on a treasure hunt is the most deserving of that equipment. And it adds a bit of fun to the village, don't you think? Now, since you and Bulky Fury have been winning competitions, I'll give you a hint to get started. Make sure to take a look under bridges. You never know what could be there. I've hid three chests in each area, so you'll have to search high and low to find them all. Good luck on your treasure hunt. Yeah, I've been looking in the pine forest. I found one. And I mean, I looked everywhere. Okay, there's white saddlebags. The purple coat. We've got some booties. Uh, rope. White saddle, saddle pad. All right, what do these cost? Because I don't have that much money. Uh, so the endurance saddle is 22000 Yo, white saddlebag is 8000 Okay, so all of these are basically out of my league. Okay. So you can see the equipment on, on Fury here that I've got. Um, the brown classic saddle, the brown classic bridle, a g lovely green western pad, and a blue bow. So we're going to go do a couple of races. Now... to try and make some money and um, see what we can do because we only have a two stall barn and we have not opened up the pine forest in order to contact the carpenter in order to get more stalls and more uh, breeding like the fertility pasture so we're going to do some races so we will be back shortly after we've run a few races Oops. Okay, as you can see, let me pull this up. So we ran three races, so now, well, that's interesting. We ran three races. We ran one in Lupine Pine Widow and two in the Rivershine Town. And they're not showing up, so that's got to be a bug. Unless it sets the next day. Hmm. Okay, so that's weird. Let's go to sleep and see what happens. Yes, we're going to open the pine forest, George. Thank you. Oh, let's go check on our crops. Okay. So, so the carrots are not done yet. We don't have any seeds. Oh, Jesus, I just ran right into him. Hey, George. Okay, quest. I've been looking to chatting, looking forward to chatting with you about this. I've been wondering if you'd be interested in opening the Trail to Pine Forest. It's a bit expensive, so I'll share the cost with you, since it would be of great use to me to have access to it. I'm sure you'll enjoy that area, too, and you'll meet the carpenter who lives there. He's, I've heard he's prepared been preparing some interesting plans to improve your ranch. I'm counting on you. I'll do my best to help you, Speedy. Okay. 
So now we have 14,000. So we have to purchase the forest, the Pine Forest Trail from Jai's store. Now we've got to go wake up Jai. But I don't think he's, he's still at home. Unless he can walk really fast. He'll still be at home. But we still have some stuff to gather on the way. All right, where's the third sheep? Did I miss them? Two. That would be lovely. We don't have access to the wild horses yet. So I will be interested to see what the initial prices were because before I've always had the money and just bought them. Okay, how much do you want? Oh, oh, I have to purchase it for Pine Forest. 8,000, okay, so half of what we have pretty much. So now we have 5,000. So I'm not gonna buy these, because remember, these you can't pick up once you put them down, at least right yet. Um, we've put some suggestions in for them to be toggable where you can toggle it on and off. Um, and also for a guide, because we never know where the heck the jumps are. So I will be, okay, nice. I've been looking forward to opening the Pine Forest Trail for a while now. George will be happy to start trading with Liam too. Have you met him? He's the carpenter who works in the Pine Forest. Why don't you go say hi? You'll find the entrance is on to the trail is on your ranch. So he's right next door. Okay, that's what we had to do. All right, so yeah. Don't, don't buy the, the beginner or intermediate or advanced or expert jump trails from Jai. That'll go in Lupine Meadow or Pine Forest because they're just, it's, it's just kind of not worth it at this particular point. Oops, let's not gallop. So we're gonna go open up Pine Forest. Hopefully we have, we don't have enough to upgrade our barn, I'm pretty sure. Not yet. Did there used to be three sheep? Did we lose a sheep somewhere? Is he stuck somewhere? I think we lost a sheepy. He ran away. We lost a sheepy. That's sad. Okay, so this is Pine Forest. Now, another thing that happened is Eloise was trying to fix where the wild horses would get stuck on the rocks. Because remember, there used to be a whole bunch of rocks around here and stuff. She couldn't get it to work, so she took all the rocks away. Except for where the light posts are and the little pathing options right here, there are no more rocks in Pine Forest. So that's an interesting fun fact. We've got all the bunnies doing their little jumping around here. You see those little white flashes ahead of me. It's a bunny. Oh, and there's something glowing here. It looks like a carrot. You can see the bunny running around in the distance. So we're on our way to meet Liam. There's another bunny. They're so cute. Now I will show you where one of the boxes is. The only box that I have found in Pine Forest. After we talked to Liam, I've looked, I've looked all around. I have not found the other two boxes. But I will show you the, where the one is that I know of after we talk to Liam. I don't think we have enough to purchase anything from him. Is he in here? Yes. So, it'll be a short trip. Um, dude, are you alright? Liam, are you just looking out the window? Hi. Shop. Okay, so the first pasture upgrade is 10,000. The second farm field which will be right next to the first one, is 4400 or 4450 The indoor arena, which we don't need, is 155 k Like I said, until they institute weather in the game, you're not going to need this, so I would stay away from it. The first pasture upgrade, too, right now you don't need it this early in the game, so I wouldn't even bother with it. He hasn't given us the fertility pasture, so we're not going to worry about it. So now Pine Forest is open, so the, the race will be up next, the beginner race. Um, so you go past, this is Liam's house, so you go past Liam's house, there's this little island right back here across the water. Pretty sure that that's where it's at. I 
could be wrong. And I'm not, though. Here it is, right behind the straw. It was hiding. So this is where the first treasure box in Pine Forest is that I found. And I got a black leather hackamore. Cool. I do not know where else the... Um, oh, and another thing. I don't know where the other two boxes are. I am still looking. But um, another thing on the Wild Horse Corrals, Eloise has um, changed it to where there are multiple openings. So there's not just one opening to each horse, Wild Horse Corral. There are three. I don't have one down on this save. Um, I do have them down on the other saves. And I can attest that they have changed. And they are now, there are now three openings instead of the one. So no matter which angle you're, you're coming from, you're going to... Um, be able to drive the horse in it'll be a little bit easier sorry for squinting I, I have bad eyesight as you can tell by I'm wearing glasses I'm looking to see if I can find any boxes because I haven't found them yet and I don't know where I could find them Or at least I think I've looked everywhere, but maybe I haven't. Or maybe I just looked right at them. Who knows? Oops. Oh, pony. We're collecting all the forageables as we go. So these are the only rocks right there. And these right here that are on a path. So, all right, if I find it, I'll come back to y'all. <laughs> no sense in spending 30 minutes looking for it and boring you guys to tears. So, we will see you in a few minutes if I find one. Ah, okay, so we found our second box. Found our second box in the pine forest, so we are right here. Here's where the wild horse pen will be. Here is where the forest statue will be. So you cross from the forest statue, you would cross this river, this river, and we're up on a hill in a grove of trees right here. There's a little path right here going through. And this is often a spot, I think, where the wild horses spawn. So it's right here. So it's, it's on the back part of the, of the little hill, surrounded by a concave thing of trees. So let's see what we get. Black leather boots. Oh, nice. Too bad it's not for my character. <laughs> so two out of three. So let's see if there's a, four, if there's a tracker. Nope. Really? No tracker, huh? And this is still bugged. Ah. So if you go to your map, we found uh, pine forest, two out of three chests. So part of the thing is working. <laughs> All right. We'll see you in a little bit on the hunt for the third one. Okay. Well, we're back. We did not find the third chest yesterday. Ah, uh, the new competition. <laughs> All right, Aisha. Um, we did not find the third box. I stayed out until 10.30 game time. Either my eyes were bad, and I ran by it like 30 times. I don't know. Couldn't find it, so I'll have to go back and check again. But we did level up some of his speed. <laughs> Running around Pine Forest yesterday. Fire olives, that is. We were going to do some races, but we never got there. We were looking for those boxes. So we'll take him in again, and um, we're not going to participate in the, well, we could. I don't know that his stats are good enough. Well, maybe, we could. We'll try the Pine Forest. I don't know that with him, we'll, we'll manage to grow it, or manage to grow it. I was looking at the quest. I don't know that we'll manage to win it, but it says place in the top three, so we should be able to do that. Well, maybe. And if not, maybe we can do it on Bulky Fury. 
increase our our monies from 5700 to maybe 10,000. I don't think we'll get that much today though, but you never know. Whoops, nope, not canner. Up oh, there's the third sheepy. He came running back. Oh, he's home now. Sheepy, we missed it, you. The third sheepy came. Oh, there's two. Wow, there's a lot of stuff over here. Let's go get all this stuff before we go to the race. So I will show you the bunny hop, which is the beginner course in the pine forest. Although most of you have probably seen it, but just in case you haven't. This is probably the biggest place where you can see that the rocks are gone. Because there used to be rocks all around here. I used to get stuck on them all the time. They used to be in the river. And right around in here. We came in second. Not bad. We didn't come in first, but it said top three. So a win's a win. Um, 1500 she gave us for winning that um, so if you don't want to do the races put it on story mode and that's in your settings if you scroll all the way down to the bottom it'll say normal or story and if you um, don't want to win the races or do the races at all um, but still want to make money then use your breeding as soon as you open it up and um, start breeding and selling the babies um, or when you open up the wild horses, start catching the wild horses, training them up a little bit um, and uh, selling them because a lot of them can be worth anywhere from 2000 to 5000 with no training at all. So those are, are also, you know, very lucrative ways to make some money. So, you know, just like the races. So, like I said, if you don't want to do the races, you don't have to. There is no rule they do make good money you can do two to three races a day depending on um, what treats you have to bring back um, but again if you don't want to do them that's totally fine All right and this is where we're going to leave it right now so i hope you enjoyed this video and are looking forward to the new uh, features that will be coming out very very soon to rancher forever shine thank you all and have a great day or evening wherever you are bye now <laughs>